Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, now in this topic we are going to talk about the chemical reactivity of group 15 elements. So now let us understand what are the various reactions that could be exhibited by group 15 elements. So this is the topic. Obviously this will require high temperature as well as high pressure also then only this nitric oxide can be obtained. So this was a reaction of the group 15 element that is I have talked about that is nitrogen. Suppose if I are talking about the other elements that are belonging to group 15 for example phosphorus or that is bismuth. So in this case they are very much reactive towards the oxygen and that's the reason they will form their corresponding oxide. So this was one of the reaction where we have represented the reactivity of the group 15 elements with air or with oxygen. So now let us move on to the next one. So the next is reactivity towards oxidizing acid. So in this case I am going to talk about the reaction of group 15 elements with nitric acid as well as with sulfuric acid. So starting with the first one that is the group 15 element starts with nitrogen but nitrogen are not very much reactive to nitric acid and that's the reason I have not represented any kind of reaction here. But let me talk about the another reaction where phosphorus it reacts with that is 20 moles of nitric acid and in this basically I am using concentrated as well as a high temperature nitric acid so I have to provide high temperature so that we could obtain that is H3PO4 which is nothing but which is phosphoric acid along with that of 20 moles of NO2 and that is H2O will be the byproduct so this is one of the reaction where we can also prepare that is phosphoric acid so now let us talk about the next reaction so here basically I have used arsenic so arsenic whenever it react with that is hot and concentrated HNO3 it will form that is H3ASO4 which is also known as arsenic acid and also it will produce that is 20 moles of NO2 along with that of that is H2O as a byproduct so this is one of the reaction but now let me talk about the reaction of nitric acid with other elements also so now let us talk about the other reaction suppose in this case we have used that is antimony and suppose if we are reacting with 20 moles of hot and concentrated HNO3 so therefore the product that is what we could get is basically this is antimony oxide along with that of 20 moles of NO2 and H2 will be the byproduct I talk about the next one that is suppose if bismuth is reacted with hot and concentrated HNO3 so therefore it will produce bismuth nitrate along with that of water and 3 moles of NO2 so this was the reaction of the group 15 elements with nitric acid so what will be the reaction of group 15 element with sulfuric acid this is what I am going to talk about so now we are going to talk about the reaction of group 15 element with sulfuric acid so in this case as I mentioned earlier that is the nitrogen is not that much reactive with oxidizing acids like HNO3 or H2SO4 and that's the reason I have not mentioned any kind of reaction here but phosphorus can be easily reacted with hot and concentrated H2SO4 so as to produce H3PO4 which is nothing but phosphoric acid along with that of 10 moles of SO2 and water as a byproduct so the other reaction is when arsenic is reacted with 10 moles of sulfuric acid and that also hot and concentrated so therefore it will produce H3ASO4 which is nothing but arsenic acid along with that of 10 moles of SO2 and H2O as a byproduct so this was the reaction of this two element with sulfuric acid but now what about the next two so this is what I am going to talk about so here basically the antimony is reacted with hot and concentrated H2SO4 so as to produce that is SB2SO4 thrice this is nothing but antimony sulfate along with that of 3 moles of SO2 and H2 as a byproduct and talking about the next reaction where bismuth is reacted with sulfuric acid and that also concentrated so therefore it will produce Bi2SO4 thrice this is nothing but bismuth sulfate and along with that of there is 3 moles of SO2 and H2 it will produce as a byproduct so therefore this was the reaction of the group 15 element with oxidizing acids so now let us talk about the next reaction so the next reaction is reaction of group 15 elements with alkalis so in the previous reaction we have discussed about the reaction of group 15 elements with sulfuric acid as well as nitric acid so now we are talking about the reaction of group 15 element with alkalis so in this case the first reaction that is I am going to talk about is that is phosphorus whenever it reacts with that is 3 moles of NaOH and obviously we understand that is NaOH is a base so therefore it will produce that is phosphine that is PH3 along with that of 3 moles of NaH2PO2 and talking about the next reaction that is arsenic whenever it reacts with that is sodium hydroxide so therefore it will produce that is 4 moles of Na3ASO3 which is nothing but sodium arsenide along with that of 6 moles of H2 and suppose if we are talking about the next reaction where antimony is reacted with that is 6 moles of NaOH so in this case we could get that is Na3SbO3 along with that of 3 moles of H2 in this case this Na3SbO3 is nothing but sodium antimonide so this was the reaction of the 
conflicting element with alkylis and now let us talk about the another reaction so the next is reaction of group 15 elements towards metals and talking about this one so in this case i'm going to talk about the reaction of nitrogen with lithium because lithium it belongs to the s block elements and s block elements are very much reactive so in this case basically lithium it will be reacted with nitrogen so as to produce that is two moles of Li3N which is also known as lithium nitride. So if I talk about the next one that is magnesium. So whenever the magnesium is reacted with nitrogen that is obviously we have to provide a certain temperature. So in this case we will get Mg3N2 which is known as magnesium nitride. So this was the reaction of nitrogen with the active metals and now let me talk about the reaction of phosphorus with magnesium. So whenever the phosphorus is reacted with magnesium it will produce Mg3P2 which is also known as magnesium phosphide. And if calcium is reacted with that is P4 that is phosphorus, it will give us that is 2 moles of Ca3 2 moles of Ca3 P2 which is known as calcium phosphide. So this was the reaction of the group 15 elements with metals. And now let us talk about the next one. So the next reaction that is I'm going to talk about is reaction of hydrogen with group 15 elements. So in this case the nitrogen obviously which is a group 15 element whenever it reacts with hydrogen it forms ammonia that is 2 moles of NH3 and obviously it will require certain kind of catalyst also and certain kind of temperature but it can produce that is an hydride of nitrogen so as you can see over here and talking about the next one that is whenever phosphorus is reacted with hydrogen it will produce phosphide that is PH3 so not only NH3 PH3 but it can also produce the other hydrides also for example it could be that is stibine it could be that is bismuthine so this is what the reaction of hydrogen with that is the group 15 element so as to produce the hydrides or to us or so as to produce the corresponding hydrides so this was the reaction of group 15 elements with various other reagents so that's it so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this video very clearly and i hope i will see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe thank you so much